My name is Matt, this is my YouTube channel, and here's some of the stuff I've built. Now let's get into the next project. Are you tired of an overflow of cans? Where do I put all these? If only somebody would make a simple solution that would organize my cans. <sighs> well look no further, because we have the solution right here for three easy payments of way more than you want to pay. I'm gonna make a solution for cans, so next time you see pickled beets on sale, you can put them on the top of this contraption and it'll kind of auto-rotate. You pull it out the bottom, it'll be the oldest, so that way you don't have to recirculate all your pickled beets. This contraption is gonna to have to have an angle on it. I think 10 degrees ought to do it, but I need the next portion to be high enough that I can reach my big chubby hands around and then grab out pickled beets. So in theory, if we put a shelf on the top at this angle, and we put a shelf at the bottom on this angle, this bottom one's gonna go all the way back to the wall. This top one's gonna stop right here so that the pickled beets can be put in right here, roll back. This needs to be spaced out far enough so the beets can fall down here, land on the lower shelf, and then come out here where there's gonna be a little piece right here that'll stop it from falling off the shelf, and then you can grab it. Now I'm gonna measure the shelf that runs and butts into this corner. It's important to measure right here and out here towards each end of it because chances are almost every single time the inside corner of the drywall is actually a little bit thicker than out here. So the measurement is smaller here than it is here. So if you measure off of this and then put the whole shelf in, then there's gonna be a big gap right on this end of it. I changed my mind. I went out on a five degree angle for this. I had a 10 degree, but my thought is that I could consolidate the uh, space a little bit better if I put that at a five degree angle instead of a 10 and it would still have enough to kind of gently slope to the back and forward. So I've started at the bottom and I have this at the five degree, like I cut these spacers. This is just in there temporarily. I'm just kind of trying to prove the concept, make sure it actually works. So, and then if I put a stop at the front of it, then it apparently works. So right on, I'll press forward. Okay, I got the next couple shelves up. So I've been caulking in between. I'll set a shelf, caulk it, set a shelf, caulk it, because, well, you can see that it's gonna be tricky to get caulking in there if you wait it till the last and then try to caulk the whole thing. It's tricky anyways, but you know, caulk it as you go. I've gone ahead and taken some extra pieces of the same material that goes on the back of the shelves and I've cut it in half, as close to in half as I can. And I'm gonna put it right here to stop these cans from rolling off this shelf. I kind of scuffed up this MD or this melamine because it's, it doesn't hold caulking or anything. Nothing really sticks to it very well. And then I've caulked it. And then I'm also going to drive nails up through the bottom so that uh, you don't have to shear off the nails to make the cans fall off. If I put it on the face of it, which would kind of be an easier idea is just put it on the face of it, just nail it here. Then it would be easier to pull the nails out. So little by little, when the cans roll down and hit against it, over time it might actually fall off and you'd have a pile of cans on the floor. The dirty floor. There's the finished product. As you can see, it's not a very complicated thing to build. You just have these spacers and really, if you toenailed into the side, you don't even need these spacers. You just kind of make it simpler and stronger. And then, yeah, that's it. I just got several rolls of these and you can adjust the height for the different sizes of cans. There you go. Hopefully, you learned something from this video and stay tuned for the rest of it. I'll go over some details about all this rest of that. Thanks for watching.